Okay, good night, everybody. Good evening, I mean, good evening, I'm sorry. I got, I got confused. Good evening. I have a question. Can you hear me clearly or do you hear the refrain in my background? Yes, there is interference. You can hear the rain, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry about that. My I will have to be really close to my computer so you can hear me. But I have a problem with my microphone. So it's not working. It seems like it's not working. You see, if I do this, you can still hear me the same, right? Yes, the same. So it's supposed to be off when I do this. It doesn't work anymore. So I'll have to buy a new headset. That's what I'm looking for. Last time I was talking to Fernando about that, right? But I'll need to buy a new headset and I haven't, I haven't been able to find one. So yeah, I'm gonna be really speaking really loud so you can hear me and speaking really close to the computer because I'm using the computer's headset. Headset, uh, yeah, no, microphone, I mean. Okay, um, we're gonna start with the class now. I will let you speak and watch videos and do as many things as you can do today. But first, I have to go to the attendance. I have to go roll. So I have to speak really loud so you can hear me at least something there. <clears throat> okay. You say present, I'm here. If you don't hear, if you can't hear your name, then remind me at the end of the attendance, okay? Let's go. Oh no, this is not you. You are advanced. It's raining really bad right here. Is it raining where you live? Yes. Here it's raining. It's raining cats and dogs. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, well, let's go. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. David Samuel Caldames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. <laughs> Just on time. Kenya yeah. Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Madeline Yamilet Molina Gonzalez. She's just on time as well, look. Madeline Yamilet Molina Gonzalez. Present. Just on time, Madeline. Manuel, Present. Manuel de Jesus Sanchez Hernandez. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramirez Reyes. He didn't connect anymore. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, I apologize one more time because I know my audio isn't the best right now. Uh, because there's rain, really, really strong rain, uh, like it's raining cats and dogs. And I have to speak to my computer's microphone because this microphone isn't working anymore. So I'll have to buy a new one, but I haven't been able to, do, to find the, the right one or the one that I need. I will take some advices from Fernando maybe because he knows about headsets. <laughs> And maybe he can tell me where to buy it because the problem is I don't know where to buy it, right? The, 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 I know them, the headsets that I want, but they are not selling in El Salvador. So yeah, I'll have to look for some. Okay, we're gonna uh, start with
with the class. Um, I, I have to be yelling. I'm sorry that I have to be yelling. I apologize because of that because I feel really aggressive when I'm yelling and I don't like to feel like that. Uh, let me know if there's a moment when you can't understand anything that I'm saying. But if you can understand, I will appreciate that you at least say yes, teacher, I did that, yes. Because that will help me to know if you are listening to me. Not that you don't want to listen to me, but I have to speak really loud in this thing. Okay, we're gonna start the class by writing the date. I need you to write the date on the chat. I need to see that as fast as you can without looking it on the internet. You can write the instruction in the chat picture because I didn't hear you. Okay, the day of the day. Yeah, thank you. Hello, Fatima. So I apologize to you as to your classmates that today my audio is going to be really bad because my microphone is not working anymore. So I have to use my computer's microphone and you can hear it's raining cats and dogs. So right now we're writing or typing the date on the chat. Okay, perfect. So if you wrote or you type, these days is correct. Remember, always the first letter of the day of the week is capital, and then we have comma, June 6, 2022, or 2022, and that is the correct thing. Thank you very much. Now, here's a challenge, the pronunciation challenge for this day, can you hear me? Okay, yes. the pronunciation challenge for this day is gonna be, you have to say all the tongue twisters that we have practiced, all of them. The ice cream, the very bad, chisel, and the woodchuck. Okay? Do you think you can do it? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I try. Okay. So I'm going to give you some time, a little bit of time. Oh my God. The, steel, the, the sky is falling. It's not raining cuts and dogs anymore. The, the sky is falling. Okay. <laughs> so I was saying, I'm going to give you some time to practice. And when you finish, well, just take like five minutes to practice. Then the challenge comes. Try to say them four in a row. Don't be like, okay, we're gonna say the first one twister now, and then we're gonna say the second one. If you have to practice like that, it's okay. But when you have to do it, you have to say all the four tongue twisters in a row, continuously, okay? Is it clear or you want me to type the instructions in the chat? It's okay. It's clear? Uh -huh. Perfect. You have them, right? You took the screenshot? Yep. Okay, perfect. We're going to go, and then you won't have to hear my noisy background. I'm sorry about that again. I apologize. Please. OK. 
Okay, let's go. Hello, teacher. Hello, Kenya. Can you send me to the group number two, please? You were in group number two? Yes, and we also can't share the screen. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, no, number two, you said. Oh, yeah, you are there already. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
Hello, Francisco. Hello, good evening, teacher. Sorry good for evening. Me, but he was uh, right to my house. What is it? Uh, right now, um, arrive. Oh, you are arriving to, to your house. house. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, look. Um, uh, I'm first of all, I apologize because my background is really noisy right now. My microphone is not working. But oh, okay. your classmates are right now working in, on the breakout room, and the challenge they have is that they have to say the four some twisters we have learned mm -hmm. in a row. Okay. Okay. So do you yep. have the all the all the four some twisters? Mm, yes. If the the how first much? one is ice cream. The second ah. one is uh very bad. Then she sells, uh -huh. and the last one is how much food. Mm -hmm. How much? Yeah. Correct. So, so you have to say all the four thumb twisters, okay? <laughs> okay, I <Okay>. tried. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to send you to a record room. Okay, thank you. Okay.
seashore shells. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells and shore. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. And the last one is this one. Let me hear it is. Okay, Erwin, three times in a row, your turn. Three times, okay. How much will, will you, well, sorry, let me a moment. How much will, will you, will, will you, if a, will you, will you, will Is it, is this, this is on Friday, okay? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, I, I, I don't practice. How much will, will, uh, will you, will if a, will you, will you, will how much wool wool a uh, wool chuck chuck if a uh, wool chuck wool chuck wool? Erwin, uh, just is chuck, not chuck, okay? It's oh, okay, chuck, chuck, chuck. Like, like, like with a chuck. Chuck, okay. okay. This one is in the, on Friday, uh, in, when we began the class, okay? That's when we practice it. Yes, sorry, teacher. It's How's okay. Yes, how much will, will uh, what chuck talk if a uh, watch? What we're going to repeat, guys? The the last one, I think it was the wool, wool, I don't know. I didn't be in the last. Uh, and this was better. And this was better than the very booty berry was before. Oh my God, I know her, but, And this was better than the very, very bad before. Uh, She shall, she shall buy the seashells. The seashells shall, the... Selma, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, so um, I apologize for my noisy background. I have a problem with my microphone today, but we're gonna start right now uh, by doing a challenge. In the breakout rooms, your classmates are practicing all the tongue twisters that we have learned, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay. I'm gonna assign you to one room. It's gonna be the number four. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you got the invite? Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay.
Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, uh, can you hear me? Yep, okay. As long as you can hear me, <laughs> if there's noise, well, we're gonna fix that in a couple of days. The only thing that I really have to do is, I don't know, I don't know where to buy a headset. Because this headset, the place where I bought it, they don't sell headsets anymore. So I don't know where to buy one. So if you know a place where I can get one, send me a message <laughs> because I really need one, okay? Okay, now, uh, we're gonna go, well, let me ask you first, was the activity easy or difficult for you? So, so. A little difficult. A little bit difficult? Yes. Okay. okay. And here's my question. Have you practiced all the four conquistors? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like yes. a lot or a little bit? A little bit. <laughs> there mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. If you practice a lot, it's going to be easy for you. But I'm guessing because two other breakout rooms that I went to, the main problem was the woodchuck one. Like you didn't have time to practice that one, or did you? Was the same problem to everyone, or was it easy for you? The how much wood would a woodchuck chuck, or was that the most difficult one? I guess. It's not difficult. We have to practice and memorize it, and we can say it real fast. Okay, so you have to practice more that one. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been practicing. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Manuel, for your comments. And yes, guys, the thing is that we have to practice uh, because sometimes when you get used to saying one thing, or, or sometimes people think, okay, I'm gonna memorize it and just keep it on my mind. So you have, if I have to say it, it's gonna be easy. No, you have to actually say it. So the muscles, I'm telling you this since the beginning when I started with you, the muscles in your mouth can get used to it, okay? And your vocal cords can get used to it because you really need, need it. Okay, right now, guys, let me, Gonna be. We only have, I think, one more week to go, and I'm guessing we are gonna be ending this module on June the 14th. I don't know. Or do you have the date? You don't. No. Okay. Let me see because someone here sent me. 16 is going to end Tuesday. Yeah, you were going to end earlier, but you had to postpone many classes, right? I, I think that they were like four classes or something like that. Mm -hmm. So class. because of that, and if we don't cancel any classes, I don't want to, even though if I have to be yelling, <laughs> To my computer, I don't want to cancel any classes. So if we don't do it, we're gonna be ending the June the 14th, okay? So basically that means that we're gonna end the classes in one week. It's just gonna be one more week and then we're gonna be, well, one week and two days. And we're gonna be ending this module. Then you'll have to wait um, until you send all the paperwork. So the last module, it was, I don't know, intermediate, right? Intermediate something. How long did you have to wait for this module? A week. 14 week. days, I guess, in my case. A week or 14 days? In my case, a week. My case, like my case 14 days. days. Oh, so you are two groups joined? Yeah. I guess. Oh, got it. I thought you were one group since the beginning. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. Well, let's hope it's just one week because when it gets longer, it gets, I don't know, we get used to it and we don't want to come back. So maybe we're, 
in the best scenario, we're gonna start classes in the 20th. I'm guessing in the best scenario. Do you know what is the best scenario? Yep. What is it? Mm -hmm. What is, no, the best scenario. Fatima, you said yes, what is it? El mejor de los casos. Exactly, thank you very much. Yes, that's a way to say it. If you say in the best scenario, we're gonna be starting classes on the 20th. I'm hoping so, I'm hoping so. So you'll have a little bit of time to celebrate your fathers if you have one, right? Or if you're a father, you're gonna have time to be celebrated. Okay, let's continue. Right now, uh, I'm just going to tell you with the woodchuck tongue twister, there's a problem that you're making or you're doing that like that, that's an, that is an issue. The issue is that you're saying chuk and it should not be chuk, it's chuk. Okay, I'm just going to tell you that and then we're going to go to the next topic. To the ones that weren't here on Friday, this is how much. It's no much, it's how much would, and this is the same would. How much would would a would chuck chuck if a would chuck would chuck would? How much would would a would chuck chuck if a would chuck would chuck would? And that's the pronunciation. You can go slow. How much would? Would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? And there's also a song that you can use to practice. Right now, I was saying the tongue twister, and it seems like you were like, Yeah, teacher, good job. That's how you do it. <laughs> when you have to be the one practicing it, okay? Well, let's go uh, with another topic right now. We're gonna go with the topic run on sentences. That topic we saw it already. There's a type of sentences where you have two subjects and two verbs, and that is a mistake. So when you have two sentences joining one class, what you have to do <coughs> is to separate them. And you can do so by adding a comma and a conjunction, like the uh, like the ones that we saw in the last class. But there's another way how you can fix it. You can also fix it by using a period. You use a period and then you're gonna start with a new sentence. Or you can use a semicolon. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here you have it. How to avoid run-on sentences for free. Look at examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Fatima, would you mind helping me reading this part right here? A run-on sentence occurs when two or more independent clauses, also known as complete sentences, are presented without any punctuation to signal when one ends and the other starts. Thank you very much. Yes, we don't have any punctuation, nor conjunction. Um, can you help me reading the first example that is not correct, so it's a random statement. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Fernando. Okay. Uh, I, I don't sure how to pronounce it. Base, is base or base it? Base. Base, okay. Uh, generation base employee, uh, affinity, affinity, affinity. Uh, groups are a waste of time. Managers shouldn't assume 
people need special treatment. Thank you very much. So in this case, we have generation-based employee. That's a subject. Well, this is a complete subject, affinity group. The verb is are. A waste of time is the complement. In the second statement, we have managers, it's the second subject, shouldn't assume, well, this is the verb, people need a special treatment. So in this case here, we should need a period. So it makes sense. If I read it, li listen here. If I read it all together, it sounds different that we need two separate sentences. Listen here. Generation-based employee affinity groups are a waste of time. Managers shouldn't assume people need a special treatment. Let's do the correct one. Generation-based employee affinity groups are a waste of time. Managers shouldn't assume people need a special treatment. Do you hear the differences? We have to do like a pause in between the two sentences. That way, I know that I'm speaking about two separate ideas. Even though they belong to the same purpose, they are separate ideas. Let's go here. You can use two strategies to avoid Ronald Sanders. Here we have the first strategy, and here we have the second strategy. The first one is the one that I'm telling you, a period after the first clause. And also, every time we have a period, we're going to start with a capital letter one, or you can use this one, semicolon before the second clause. Look here, we have the first example. <coughs> Wait a second, guys. Okay, so it says the run on can be broken into, okay, yeah, the boomer is mystified by Facebook, the millennial who appears flip-flops in the office, who wears, who wears flip-flops in the office. The boomer is mystified by Facebook, period. And then we have to leave a space, actually. There's two join lines. You don't have to do this, okay? You have to separate. There needs to be a space, a space in between. Facebook, period, space. The millennial who wears flip-flops in the office. Or you can do it with a period and a comma, so that's called semicolon. Generation-based employee affinity groups are a waste of time. Period, semicolon. Managers shouldn't assume people need a special treatment. So you can separate the two ideas with a period, or you can separate the ideas with a semicolon. The first thing you need to do is to identify. So look here. You have to identify it. what is a run-on sentence. If I have, I have, okay, so you need to see where, okay. Subject, verb, complement. I have another subject, so it is a run-on sentence. You have to spot it. Then when you have the two sentences, you are gonna separate them in between. So you have to put the period, when you have finished the first sentence and before starting the second one. Is it a little bit clearer, that information, or do you want to ask some questions? You're not telling me if it is clear or if it is not clear, or are you listening me, listening to me even though I'm screaming in my my throat is hurting so bad right now. Yes, it is. If no matter, teacher, if you use a period and a capital letter, or if you use a semicolon? No, it doesn't matter. Them, okay. It, it doesn't matter because that idea is false. It's a big false. It's not like a coma. If you use a coma, David, in that case, you will need to uh, add a conjunction, like the last topic we were yes, talking about? Yes, yes, I, I remember the last one, yes. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna send you the link to a video where it explains a little bit more about it. And it's like a key explanation, but it's the best explanation that I could find. So I'm gonna send you 
that link. Oh, and Fatima, you're on a computer, right? David, you also are on a computer. And Fernando, yes. right? So I'm gonna uh, divide the group and you're gonna play the video. Remember again, I cannot go to a breakout room uh, if you're playing the video because it's gonna, I don't know, it's gonna mark as a, as a copyright. So Fatima is going to be in a break room. David is going to be in another one. And Fernando is going to be in another one. I'm going to open the room, play the video. Okay? Play it once if you want to play it twice. It's not really difficult. It's not difficult at all. It's a kid's explanation. And then you can share with your classmates what you think about the run on campus. Is it clear? Yep. Perfect. Let's go. Kenya, you have the invite.
Okay. So, a run-on sentence basically is two sentences joined without a comma and conjunction or without a period. Now, I'm glad to tell you that I found a gaming headset. It's expensive, but I think that's the one that I'm going to get because it's, I don't know, it's necessary. I, I don't like to, uh, it, uh, it's frustrating. What is the brand of the ones you have, Fernando? Uh, I have Razor. 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 Yes. And they are, they have noise canceling in the mic? Yes, but uh, they, they uh, that uh, earphones has a uh, software to, to handle, to handle, to handle it. To handle what? The, 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 the headphone. Uh -huh. uh, you can configure the, oh. the, the light, the sound, the, the noise. And yeah, how so. much were they? I'm sorry, do I? Uh, a, a year and a half ago, $200. Where did you buy? Uh, I, I bought a, in a desktop, desktop. Oh. Just desktop, I don't know if it's in Usulutang. Uh, are, are that, is that a store? But here in San Salvador and online, maybe you can ask, you can ask to, to that okay. store. Okay. I found some Logitech. I think I'm gonna get those. Logitech is a, is a good brand. These, these were Logitech. Uh, they were good. Uh, yes, but it, it, you, <laughs> you have uh, maybe Fears. a good, pre, a good, a good, yeah, good say, price. Price uh, budget. A good budget, maybe you can get. Yeah, it is not a good budget. The thing is that I can pay in small payments. So I can get like a 12 month payment mm. without any, yeah, with the credit If you card. have a credit card, yes, yeah. and desktop, the, 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 there are, there is a, well, there are many ways to pay. Uh, and for this, uh, I, I finished to pay that, that this, this earphone in 12 months, in a year. Okay, with, yeah, uh, with that's a credit better. card. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> that's the way I'm gonna do it <laughs> because one payment? No, I'm, I'm not no. that rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll see. I just don't want to be screaming because in the afternoon class, guys, I was screaming because it was raining even harder than right now. And I'm screaming now, so my throat is really sore by this month. It's really bad. <laughs> so I need to pay it. Okay, let's go with the second <clears throat> attendance. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. David Samuel Caldames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Laura Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Uh, Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present, teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Harvey Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Kenny Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Uh, Marlon Stanley Ramírez Peña. Selma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. Sí. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Yeah. And Jocelyn Imenta Ivas Abarca. Present. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, perfect. Now, we're going to do some practice because you already know how to identify the run-on sentences out and how to fix them. So we're going to go here.
Okay, if you have the manual, it's gonna be in the page 31, okay? Page 31. So here it is, look. The first, it says, read the following sentences, identify the run-ons and correct them using the strategies mentioned in the box above. Okay, so what we have to do is to identify them. The mindset is to make that person your partner. It involves them in everything they do. Do you see two sentences? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Where it ends the first one? After the partner. Partner. Correct, David. Thank you very much. What we can do in that part is to add a period, period, and then what happens to the letter I here? Uppercase. It's capital letter. Capital letter, yes. It involves them in everything they do. Okay, what you have to do is this activity. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's not complicated at all. You only have to identify the random statements and correct them. Okay. Uh, companies will need to embrace radical changes in the future. A corporate culture will actively in this case, you need to identify something. It is separated, yes, but it needs a we have semicolon. The, maybe we need a semicolon. Yes, that's true. We can fix it with a semicolon actually. But the thing is that we it only has a comma. We need a conjunction, and we don't have a conjunction, so we need a semicolon or a period, and we'll make this a capital thing. But the way the, the classmate said, it's pretty good to fix it like that. Okay, you only have six. Yeah, we only have uh, five statements to do because I already finished the first one. If you want to, you can take a screenshot of this, or you can go to page 31 on your manual, and you will find it. Is the activity clear for you? Or do I have yes. to scream it louder? <laughs> yes, teacher. I'm screaming my heart out right now, guys. You, you'll have to see. Ah, my throat is really sour in this moment. Really, really sour. Take water. Yes, I am. I already, well, I already finished. You see, I need to take more. <laughs> I'm screaming, but I'm gonna buy those things. I need to buy them. It's the only way. Okay, let's go and fix them. Okay, I got it, Fernando. Thank you.
Did you finish? Yes, we did. Okay. It seems like you're alone, but it's only your camera. <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> okay. I hope no. I hope not. <laughs> The first one. The second one, economic consequence include millennials quitting because they feel misunderstood. I see these are the two ideas or the two sentences we have here. What do you think? It's okay or we need to do a different separation? No, this moment, I guess it is okay. This this is okay. Well, please are we a, a real understanding of the individuals in any given generation with false assumptions about entire generation. This can be particularly destructive in the workplace. So we are a player really understanding. You are talking about the, the, the number four? Teacher. How do you know I was here? Because it says recording on progress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me. Um, on number five, um, does uh, it, it's a period or a semicolon for you? People perceive each other. People perceive each other differently than they really are. <laughs> Economic consequence include millennials quitting because they feel misunderstood. A period. Period. It's between R and economic. Period between R and economic. For me, but I'm not a student. <laughs> People perceive each other differently than they can do. Or, period. Economic consequences include millennials quitting because they feel misunderstood. Oh, I got it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, in that one, we were kind of confused. That's why. Okay.
Hello. So the rain is starting to come down. I hope it does. Okay, so let's do a review. I went to the breakout rooms. In some breakout rooms, I could hear people talking, doing the exercise together, and working as a team. And some other breakout rooms that I went to, I couldn't see that teamwork that I was hoping for. But, okay, we're gonna see how we solve that. When I send you to the breakout rooms, it's because I want you to practice. It's because I want you to do a teamwork, okay? It's not like individually, it's a teamwork that we have to do there. Okay. Well, let's go with another activity here. So in some breakout rooms, I could check the, the exercises and they were good. So let's see, we have three types. Well, before I start with this, let me explain this. Sometimes we can have three types of sentence. Now we can call a sentence, but actually a sentence has to have subject, verb, complement, or only subject and verb. Because if I say, I speak, that's a sentence. It has a subject and it has a verb, right? Then a fragment, it's other than a sentence, but a fragment can be Marcos lived where? Or I, well, let me see some examples that we have for fragment. Um, clean the kitchen, that's a fragment clean the kitchen, um, some things like that. It, it is not a complete statement, it's not a complete thought, because a statement is a complete thought, a sentence. Now, there we have run-on sentence, where we can have more than one sentence joined with our comma or with our period. So right now I have explained three. Fragments, just two parts of a sentence maybe. We have sentences, a complete thought, and we have run-on sentences. They can be three sentences joined. I mean, two sentences joined. Now, with that information in mind, I want you to participate, please. Clean the card with a sponge. Is that a fragment, sentence, or run-on sentence? Complete sentence. 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 Clean the car with a sponge. Okay. But what is what is the subject? Exactly. So what is it? It's I think fragment. it's a fragment. Exactly. Thank you very much. We don't have a subject. You see? Liam got a new backpack. It's very comfortable and useful for him. This is a sentence. And this sentence. is a run noun. It's a run sentence. Because there are two, two sentences. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Liam got it's the first one. It's very, it's the, the other one. It's 7 p.m. on my clock. Sentence. That one is a Fragment. sentence. Sentence. No, what? Um. It's a sentence. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're a little bit confused right now, guys. No, it's a sentence. Look, it is, it is there. 7 p.m. on my clock, it's a complete thought. I don't understand what a fragment is. This is a, a sentence. 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 Gave us the homework. Fragment. Fragment. I got a, I got a plus in my exam. Sentence. Sentence. Melody studied hard for or math test. Sentence. 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 Correct. My farm has lots of fruits. They taste very good. It's from now. From now, sentence. My yes. little sister likes to eat vegetables. Sentence. 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 Correct. Look. 
Uh, it looks cloudy today. It's a fragment, true or false? False. Oh, false. false. My mother runs a restaurant. It's a sentence. True. 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 Lucy's birthday is this Friday. She wants us to come. It's this a is one out. Exactly. False. 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 Camila is my best friend since elementary school. It's a run on. False. False. Because it's a. Sentence. Got her birthday gift. It's a fragment. True. 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 Our teacher gave us a lot of homework. It's a sentence. True. True. Correct. Yeah. Let's see if we understood the assignment. Well, what did we do? Can you refer with the sponge? They got it wrong. It's a fragment. Yeah, it's a fragment. Because it's like this one. Look. Gave us the homework. Yes. Clean the car with a spot. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Now, to see the individual individual learning that you have, we're going to play a Kahoot game. Have you ever played a Kahoot game? I told you that last time I thought we... Yes, teacher. We're going to play a Kahoot game. The Kahoot game, it's going to be... Let me... I'm going to share the thing. So you have to go... I'm going to send you here to the chat. Link. Okay, you have to go there. Okay? You have to go there and you have to write your name. Your names are going to appear here. This one is going to work. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to work. Are we already there? Excellent. Buenas, buenas. Who's buenas, buenas? <laughs> Yo. Good evening. Oh my God, if you're not, <laughs> if I don't see your name, how am I gonna know what I am, Maria? <laughs> Not found. Okay, quickly, let's go. When I was here, have another buenas buenas or oh, buenas buenas disconnected and then connected again. Okay, let's go, guys. I need you to go to the link and write your names if you can, please. So we can start this thing. I have seven, no, 16 participants and only 13 here. I have a few missing three participants. And because I don't see the names, I don't know who of them are missing. Hello, I'm missing three participants. Three, three, three. Three participants. They're not coming? Chica. Who's oh, Chica? <laughs> Which one is you, Janari? You don't know or you don't want to say? <laughs> I don't want to say. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm still waiting for two. <laughs> Maybe it's because you don't wanna, you don't wanna brag. If you're winning, you're gonna, you, you wanna be humble. That's the thing, right? If you're winning, guys, you wanna be humble. Okay, I'm gonna go with the participants that I have because it's time already. Okay, let's go. You're gonna identify with it if it is a sentence, fragment, or rotten sentence. Remember, the speed on how you do it is gonna be evaluated.
remember that you don't have to do it here on Zoom. You have to do it on the app or on the web page. If you do it here on Zoom, you can be selecting and nothing is going to happen, okay? <laughs> okay, yes, it's a sentence. It's a subject and a verb. De verdad, recordarles en español que tienen que irse a la, a la página, a la aplicación. No vayan a estar queriendo seleccionar aquí, ya lo veo. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> It's a run on, you see? Two sentences. Happy about the race. So EFL like celebrating. What? Oh, everything changed. Been raining all day? Yes, it has. I'm, I'm missing one participant. No sé por qué siempre un participante se queda sin participar. I don't know what's happening. It's a fragment, yes. It does sentence, no. Subject, what is the subject? What? Yo es el escalador más alto. I don't know who's yo. <laughs> When you exercise regularly, you one participant missing all the time. Guys, this is pretty obvious. You got confused because of the you. Mm, okay, I see it. But here's the thing. When you exercise regularly, what? Is missing the question mark or missing the another subject? It's another subject or a complete thought. Because with this part, I don't have a complete thought. When yes. you exercise regularly, what? What happens? Because in this case, listen. Do you remember that we have subordinate clauses? Yes. This is a subordinate clause. It needs the main one to make sense. What? Excellent, David. This is pretty obvious. Don't get confused. Oh my goodness. Who is the participant? Ah. Oh my God. I have to delete the participant. It's taking me a while. It's a fragment. Why? Why a sentence? No, it's a fragment. Yes, it's a fragment. Why? Oh, wait, I didn't, ah, uh, because you didn't have, wow. What was the, can, can you tell me what was the sentence again? Walking to the store. The store. Okay, we don't have a subject. And actually when we're using ING, we need a, we need a, 
We need the virtually. Oh my God, I cannot see the participants. Darn it. I like to see the participants. I know who's the person who's taking a while. Stop. When it's tricky, it's tricky. Oh, I have 14 answers. Why is this not going? What? Do I have 15 participants now? Ah. Okay. In this case, I told you it was confusing. Because, stop. It's a complete thought, right? If I tell you stop there, you're gonna understand. It's a complete thought. Even though it doesn't have a subject, it's a complete thought. That's why it is considered a sentence. Don't get confused. You can get confused. And it seems like I will have to explain to you. Oh my God, we have a new... thinking about it. Well, only 11 answers, 12. Uh, uh, only one person got it right. It's a fragment. Okay, let me tell you why it is not a run-on sentence. To be a run-on sentence, you don't have to have the end, and also you need to have a subject. But the thing is, it is not a complete thought. I don't have a complete thought right here. So if I don't have a complete thought, it's a fragment. A fragment doesn't need to be short, okay? It's only a sentence without meaning. It is not a complete thought. Wow. Okay. Only two got it right. Okay, let me go and clarify here. This is above the gray city building, soft white clouds drifted in a perfect summer sky. Why is this a sentence? Because it's a complete thought. This part right here, above the gray city buildings, will be at the end of this part right here. It's just a preposition of place. And here, soft white clouds drifted, soft white clouds is the Subject. Drifted is the verb. In a perfect summer sky is the complement. Above the gray city building is just a proposition of place that can be at the beginning of the statement or at the end of the statement. Good job, David.
it's a fragment. The one who looks like a military office but acts like a full rat. The complete sense, the complete uh, thought. I don't have a complete thought right here. What is with this person? What do you need me to tell about this person? I don't get it. So my friend is the one who looks like a military officer but acts like a school rat. Yes, that's a complete. But I don't know who's the person. I don't get it. So there's not a complete thought. Good job. Good evening. And I don't know who is good evening. Her husband likes to cook. He does not like to do it. This is what this one is easy, guys. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. This one is easy. Okay, <laughs> you, I thought I was gonna be incorrect. Okay, good job, good job to everybody. Good job. That's easy, come on, you can do it. I know you can do it, yes. It's easy. Often eating health, a healthy diet and exercising regularly. It's super easy. It's a fragment. Of course it's a fragment. We don't have a subject. There's not a complete thought. You see, good evening and buenas buenas. I don't know who they are. In the shortest parts of the world, in my grandmother's house, what? What happened there? What is the problem? In the shortest parts of the world, in my grandmother's house, what? Let's see. Course is a fragment. Only we got it wrong. I don't see a I don't see a complete thought, but it seems like you're getting it right now. now. Let's go. Scream loudly. Scream loudly. What is it? So get confused. You had one like this one before. I don't like when the teacher gave a lot of time. It should be 20 seconds and that's it. It's a fragment. Look, you had a one like this one before, yes. But here's the situation. Look, if it was scream loudly, it will be a sentence because it's an imperative sentence, okay? Imperative sentence. But if it is in the past, there's no a sentence. It is not a sentence. It's in the past. It doesn't make sense. This is easy. Maybe this is the easier one that you have had. The easiest one of all the all. When you got it wrong. <laughs> My God. Five, four, three, que largo se siente el tiempo. Two, one, go. Oh. What? Um, what? No, why? <laughs> this subject for computer. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
the Titanic was a very big ship, but it ultimately hit an iceberg and sunk. Hmm, the Titanic, Titanic, Titanic was a very big ship, but it ultimately hit an iceberg and sunk. What is it? If, if missing a, ver, uh, a coma, because have a have a conjunction. It has a conjunction, but it doesn't have a comma. Correct. Yes. Excellent. You see, if it was a period and without the but, yes. Good job. You're getting it, guys. Good job. Since the employee was a graduate of Northam, what? What? Sim, tell me, what is the complete sentence? I don't get it. What is it? We don't get it. Okay, the next one. Yeah, oh my goodness, it's a fragment. Doesn't have a complete thought. The next one is going to be the last one. Okay? And in that one, I'm going to finish the game. So please make sure that you do it right. It hurts. Come on, this is easy, super easy. It's very easy. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Giving you the answer already. Hurts. Let's see. Three, two, one. Ah. Why well, is a fragment? No. <laughs> Come on. It has a subject and a verb. Subject, verb. Subject, verb. Complete verb. It, it complete verb. Complete that. It hurts. Me duele. It, it, you can understand it. You can perfectly understand it. And we're gonna omit it, omit it. Wait, 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 wait. How do, how do I get out of this? Ah. How do I get out of this? I don't know. What am I doing? Okay, here we're gonna end it. I need to end it because it's time already. Okay, let's see. The third place is for Joe. For me, good evening, good evening, guys. <laughs> and the first place is for David. Good job, excellent. And then we have yeah. not found in JM. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, good job, guys. Good game. Thank you for participating. And I'm, I'm just going to check on attendance. Um, I'm not going to go through all the attendance because it's time already. So who was Joe and who was Good Evening? Joe was Joe teacher. Joe was Joe. <laughs> yes. Joe was Giovanni. <laughs> yes. Okay, excellent. And Good Evening? That's me. William. Okay, okay. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. So, Blanca is not here, right? And neither is Marlon. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Please be here on time and have a good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.